Hi guys, Ivan Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're in a suburb called Ascot. Now Ascot's on the Swan River and um, Ascot's about 10 kilometres east of the Perth CBD, built on an area of about 3.7 square kilometres guys. There's about 2,570 residents out here in Ascot and simply named after the Ascot Racecourse. So uh, we'll take you uh, for a bit of a walk around. There's part of the river, yeah, it's sort of an inlet over there, but the river's on the other side, but this flows from that river into here. And it looks quite nice out here. Um, very shady out here, very shaded, a lot of trees. Been around for a while, the area. There's old parts to this and new parts. It actually, um, Ascot's actually one long narrow strip of land, guys, that borders the southern bank of the Swan River. So it's a long suburb. The Tonkin Highway also goes through it at some stage. So um, have a look at this out here. Look at the shutters on that on that window. It's different, isn't it? Quite nice houses through here, guys. They're all, um, or a lot of them are built on smaller blocks. So, um, I've sort of crammed them in, but they do look quite good. Looks like, it gives it a village atmosphere through here. What do you guys think of Ascot so far? You'll be surprised at the median house price also when we get to that. It's not that bad actually. You'll have to watch the whole video before I tell you the median house price guys. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned to watch the video. And you can see there's a there's, um, single story and double story through here. There's also apartments through here and dogs. They've got everything. Look at this nice little tree here. Yeah. Uh, it looks quite good. Nice flowers on it. Beautiful. See the it'll be very low maintenance out here if you if you bought a place out here because they're built on very small blocks. But the houses look quite nice. This one yeah. Um, yeah, that one there doesn't look that good. <laughs> that just looks like a pile of bricks. But hey, that's your style. The, that's probably the side of the house. This here would be the front. So there you go. Looks a little bit better over there on the front part. Yeah. Ascot used to previously be part of another suburb in Perth called Belmont. And there's also a Belmont race course. So there's an Ascot race course and a Belmont race course in Perth. One's for summer racing and one's for winter racing. The Ascot was officially um, established on the 7th of March 1991, guys. So it's been around for a while. With boundaries being approved on the 22nd of March 1991. Like I said, it is named after the Ascot Racecourse, a major horse racing track in Perth, Western Australia. 
Have a look at that tree. That's one of those Moreton Bay fig trees. Got some, if you guys are fans of those Moreton Bay fig trees, if you like them. Um, we have some sad news about them here in Perth. Apparently there's some bug going through them and a lot of them have been cut down so far. They're going through King's Park at the moment. There's some apartments over there guys, they're not very tall. Um, these bugs are going through. Um, it says Cray Care, Ascot Waters. So it might be um, aged care apartments, I'm not sure. There's a cafe in there called Kiln, Kilns Cafe. But anyway, these bugs are going through these Moreton Bay fig trees and um, it's quite a, a bad bug. Not like a flu bug, it's an actual, um, as Susan would say, creature that gets into there and, and, um, and kills these trees. So um, they're cutting them all down. There's the Ascot race course over there. You can see the big signs there, Ascot Racecourse. So that's what the suburb was named after. Now Kilns Cafe, I would assume is named after the kilns in this area. Because there are a few kilns, they, they're not used anymore. They used to be used years and years ago to fire, to um, make bricks. So there's the race course over there. We won't cross the road there because it's um, quite a busy road over there. So um, we'll take you to a different section of As Ascot now guys and we'll see you there shortly. So this here is the Swan River guys in Ascot and um, there's a bridge going across it there and there's all the, the flasher houses there on the, on the Swan River. As you can see over there, and then behind those houses, or on the side of those houses, is it people's yachts or boats. There's a few big ones there, and there's someone over here um, cruising the Swan River on their little boat. So um, this is more the, the prestigious part of, um, of Ascot on the Swan River over here. What do you guys think of this over here? This is pretty good. <coughs> this part of Ascot, there's, there's quite a few uh, jellyfish in the water there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there, there's a lot of jellyfish in the water. There's a couple of them there with like a cross on there, on the top of them. I don't know what, what it is, but the camera won't be able to pick that up. But yeah, they, they're reasonable size, these jellyfish. So we're still in Ascot guys, and uh, this year is uh, smack bang in the middle of Ascot. It's um, kilns. So these are heritage listed, and it was built in uh, 1929. Ceased operations in 1982, but the kilns and the, and the chimneys you can see there, they're still here and they're all heritage listed and they were used to make bricks and tiles, roof tiles, the clay roof tiles. And um, so that's pretty interesting. There, there's a truck parked in there, so I don't know what they're doing, but there's a lot of broken up concrete and that. So maybe they're redoing a few things for the surface over there and then they'll open, up, open it up later for people to look around. They must be ripping up all the old concrete. They might make, turn it into something, I don't know. But uh, it is fenced off over here, so we can't get too close. So we'll take you to a different part of Ascot now, guys, and show you around. Now, guys, we're still in Ascot over here, and these are the oldest sort of houses. This is the old part of Ascot. And, um, but these older houses are cl very close to the river, the Swan River, because the Swan is just in front of us there. And we'll take you guys down there and show you around. Look at this, um, I don't know if this is a house or a block of units over here, but it's no more livable because all the windows are smashed and there's graffiti all over the walls and that. So, and part of it's demolished, so 
so it's getting ready for demolition and um, it's on a big block so either someone's gonna someone's bought that to demolish it and build their dream home right on the water's edge here or they're gonna build some units on it I don't know but that's it there guys it's pretty um pretty run down place so this here's a hotel guys it's called the Swan River Hotel and um, a bit of noise coming from there so a few people over there enjoying their lunch and drinks and stuff and we'll take you down to the to the river over here because that hotel over there overlooks the river there's a balcony over there um, and that, there's the balcony there and that overlooks the river so you've got pretty good river views from there there's a, there's a couple of hotels over here. There's also Quest Hotel on the corner of this road, which is Epson, Epson Avenue and Great Eastern Highway. There's a Quest Hotel over there. That one's reasonably new, a couple of years old, I think. But this one over here, what we showed you, the Swan River Hotel, that one's been there for a while. So this is the, it's the foreshore over here, the River Foreshore in Ascot. and uh, you can smell that salt air guys it smells good so the river is looking quite good it's quite a wide part of the Swan River here there's someone going with their boat over there little boat there's a few um, houses over there that that corner one that end one there that's the one that's getting ready for demolition and um, there's a few older ones there but have a look at that new one over there guys they've um, they've obviously bought an old old house and demolished it and put their nice um, two-story house over there with the um, massive balcony it's an absolutely massive balcony on there. It's above the garage. So a typical double garage in Perth is about six meters by six meters. So that'll be six meters by six meters, that balcony. So pretty good, um, pretty good house that. And then you got the older ones next door. Check the roof on that one. Look at the tiles. That needs a bit of a spray job. So guys, we might just take you to another part of um, Ascot now and show you around there. Hey guys, this here is Great Eastern Highway, which runs past Ascot. So um, plenty of shops down here and industry and all sorts of stuff down this road, as far as the eye can see. And um, if you head towards the city, uh, you'll you'll get to the uh, casino, Crown Casino. So what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to show you the most expensive house in Ascot, and there's the sign there. But we'll take you up to the house. Now this is a funny little area here yeah, because this gate um, butts onto Great Eastern Highway, and you close the gate over there, and. Um, you come out to this little park over here and the the most ex this is quite a nice little park it's got a nice um, footpath leading down here and everything the lawns are kept well I thought it might belong to the people over there with that house there on the left because look at that their lawn and everything's all in one but I don't know and we thought it might also belong to maybe this unit's here but we're walking through it no one's no one's told us off yet and the most expensive house guys in Ascot is right in front of us so it overlooks that park and it also overlooks Great Eastern Highway and you can get to Great Eastern Highway if you walk in through that gate we just showed you so this year is a um, is a three-story house it was built in 1904 guys so it's one of the original houses here and I'm wondering if the day in the day it's on an 897 square meter block and there's some information there 
I'm wondering if in the day if they owned all that land over there in its day because it's quite a nice looking house. If you want to look on realestate.com.au you can see the, the photos of it and it's um, quite nice inside. Big balconies over there um, and it's a five bedroom, a three bathroom, two car garage house. Everything's kept quite nice because it is an old house built in 1904 like I said and um, they're asking 1.7 million Australian dollars for this house. Now, this is the side of the house here and it's got a nice uh, brick wall on the side here guys. It's got all the original windows in it, all timber windows over there. Big block like I said, goes right, right up to here. Actually this here is, um, it goes right up to this fence over here. So that's where, so that's how long that block is, pretty long block. So we'll just um, take you for a walk down the street and introduce you to the neighbours of that house. So these are the houses in the street. Yeah, this is quite a nice one here on the right hand side. Built in that old Federation style. Obviously much newer than the one we just showed you. So not a bad little spot here, part of Ascot. Like I said, Ascot hugs the Swan River, the southern end of the Swan River. And it goes for five kilometers down the, down the river, the suburb. So uh, it's quite a long, narrow suburb. So um, that, that house, by the way, guys, is number four Wedderburn place in Ascot. Ascot. That's W-E-D-D-E-R-B-U-R-N, Wedderburn place in Ascot. I might have just found the worst, um, I might have just found the worst garden, guys, in Ascot. Here it is, yeah. Look at that. I found one. You always find the worst garden around the place. And that one there is the second worst. <laughs> because he's, there's no weeds and stuff, it's just sand. So we might just wrap it up, guys. Ah, oh, before, before we wrap it up, I forgot to give you the median price. I'll give you the median house price. We've done a few videos today and I'm quite, quite tired. Um, guys, you'll be surprised at the median house price over here in Ascot for the quality type area it is. Well, I think it's quite a quality area anyway. It is close to Perth Airport, so that could be... But, but we, we've seen planes go over there, not that noisy. You don't know what happens in the night time though. Could wake you up. But uh, guys, the median house price over here in Ascot is 810,000 Australian dollars. And the median unit price over here is 409,500 Australian dollars. And the median land price, there's probably not a lot of land left around here. It's quite expensive. The median land price over here is 495,000 Australian dollars over here in Ascot. So we might just um, head to that park over there and wind it up. Okay guys, so we might just wrap it up over here in, um, in Ascot. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We thought it's quite an interesting area. We quite like it. It's quite nice out here. Close to two arterial roads going through Perth, Tonkin Highway and Great Eastern Highway. And very close to um, both the international airport and the domestic airport. So guys, please don't forget, it the, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we're in this little wasteland over here and it's mulch land because they've piled up piles of mulch over here which they've obviously mulched up from the trees and that that they've pruned. And they're going to distribute that mulch around probably the um, verge trees and that in the suburb so all recycled very good okay guys hopefully you enjoyed this um this video on ascot and we'll see you in the next one